Hi there, I'm Dr. John Tan again. Just wanted to talk to you about the specific surgeries and the anatomy of that. Uh, we've talked about the basic anatomy of where we're going to be, so now I wanna get them a little bit more specific as we talk about some of the more common surgeries. While we do a lot of surgeries, endoscopic, laparoscopic, robotic, you know, even open in the extreme environments, one of the things that um, you know, we do mainly is uh, gastric sleeves, gastric bypasses, and duodenal switches. Those are the main primary laparoscopic surgeries that we do. And so just a little bit about the difference in each one of them. So they have weird names uh, that are hard to really understand, and there's a lot of drawings and stuff online. But uh, what I wanna show you here is the stomach. And as you saw, where the food comes down to the stomach, with a gastric sleeve, what we're doing is we're going in and we're gonna take part of the stomach out. And so what that looks like is it looks like a staple line that goes down the stomach like this, and that's how we divide the stomach. And we remove this part of the stomach. Now, why do we remove this part of the stomach? Well, it has got a lot of hormones that are transmitted, produced, signaled, and there's a lot of neural tissue all over the stomach that control the hormones and the metabolism of your gut. It's like a gut brain. And so you can kind of think of it like a gut lobotomy. When we take out part of the, that part of the stomach, we're changing the metabolism. That's the important thing here. Now, are these surgeries restrictive? As you look and see, again, if diets worked, then restriction would work, but they don't. Um, and that's why we're here at this point of the severity of the disease is that you know diets are not working. Um, and so, yeah, it is restrictive because we have to remove enough of the stomach. Now, for instance, if, some, if you get a sleeve and that sleeve is bigger um, and this, is, this part is removed, that's gonna be someone who's typically gonna lose a little bit of weight and then gain it back. Uh, because not enough of that uh, hormonal signaling cells have been removed. That's why it's important to have a nice tight sleeve. Um, so when we look at what is the difference between a sleeve and a gastric bypass? Well, with a sleeve, again, that's the part that's drawn here in red, uh, that is just removal of that section of the stomach. Now what the gastric bypass does is we divide the stomach into two pieces. So we have stomach one and stomach two. Now the stomach one is where, again, the food is coming into. Now that looks restrictive. Well, why is that important? It's not necessarily about the restriction, it's about the fact that we have to take out and remove the rest that will not take out of your body, but take away the rest of that stomach. Because if we leave too many of those acid producing cells that are in here and had a bypass pouch, for instance, that looked like this, well then you could have acid reflux after your gastric bypass and that could increase your risk of complications. So it's important to have a nice small gastric bypass pouch. Um, and so when, when the gastric bypass, so what we're doing is we're looking at that drainage system. So you remember that duodenum, that first portion of your small bowel that controlled and drained a lot of the liver and the pancreas enzymes. Well, you march down 100 centimeters, and we talked about there being 600 total. And we cut that bowel right there, and we hook that in up there into that new gastric bypass pouch. And then we run that down, and we hook it back into itself after we've bypassed another 150 centimeters. And that means we have about 350 left over for digestion. That's the long part of your small bowel, but I just draw it really short for convenience sake. And so right there and right there used to be connected. We cut that, drag it up, hook it in, hook it back into itself. So now we have all the liver enzymes draining down this way. We have all the pancreas enzymes and digestive juice draining down this way. And we have all the stomach acid and enzymes from the stomach draining down this way. Nothing's been removed. We've just changed the fact that food no longer goes down this first portion of the bowel. What instead happens is the food comes down your esophagus, goes through this new anastomosis, goes down this limb of 150 centimeters that does not have enzymes, and right here is where digestion starts. And digestion now continues through the remainder of your small bowel and then dumps into your colon and then goes out. So you're still getting quite a bit of digestion. We're just changing the way this works. And one of the main things that we want to understand about the gastric bypass is that you know, very typically, we're losing with a gastric bypass a little bit more weight on average, around 70% of your excess body weight. Whereas with the gastric sleeve, it's a little bit more mild uh, for less severe disease and is gonna be about 60% of your excess body weight. And the difference here is just because it does a little bit more with your metabolism because we're affecting the way that the enzymes and the food are mixing. And so when we see this, this is why someone with acid reflux needs to have a gastric bypass more than a gastric sleeve because the gastric sleeve can make your reflux worse because you're taking a low pressure reservoir and turning it into a high pressure tube so the acid tends to go right back up your throat instead of down or hanging out in the stomach. And then with diabetes, another big point is if you have diabetes, a gastric bypass can potentially cure diabetes completely within a week or two in about 80 to 90% of people. 
And even if that means you're on insulin, that means you can be off insulin entirely, and that's a huge thing. So gastric bypass is really good for more severe disease, higher BMIs, people with diabetes, and people with acid reflux. I mean, we do a gastric bypass on folks that do not have a BMI that's high. When they failed other acid reflux surgeries, we convert them to a gastric bypass. And sure, they lose a little bit of weight, but sometimes they don't have a lot to lose. But they still get a gastric bypass because they can help with acid reflux. So those are the two main um, surgeries that we do and probably the most popular. Uh, another big one we do is a duodenal switch, but we'll talk about that one later. So just wanted to sign off for now. We'll look forward to talking to you later and have a great rest of your day.